Hi there, this is Nova. Welcome to the Featherweight Tip of the Month. I want to visit with you today about bobbins. There's been a lot of stuff out there uh, in the last couple months about bobbins and the number of holes that they have and different things uh, like that. So I just thought it would be a good time to sit down with you and look at some bobbins and talk to you about taking care of your bobbins and what, how to protect your bobbin case. Bobbins are really inexpensive. Um, they are not very expensive at all, but they can cause all kinds of problems. If you put one that's damaged into your bobbin case, it can damage your bobbin case. It can also get stuck in your bobbin case. That's what's wrong with the bobbins from the big box stores, uh, the big box sewing stores. They're marked and they say they fit your Singer Featherweight 221, but they do not. Uh, the interior circle, this interior shaft here uh, where, the, where the spindle uh, actually goes from the bobbin case carriage. That is often misshapen and it's not quite the right size as well as the bobbin being just a hair too large. So you pop it into your bobbin case and you cannot get it out. Uh, please don't ruin your bobbin case. Please send it to me for service. I'm more than happy to help you service that. But I wanted to look at several bobbins with you today. The original Singer Featherweight bobbins this is an original and it's a nice uh, example to show you what an original look like. You see how there is no post sticking up from the center. It's just a nice smooth bobbin. Uh, I've started at, uh, recently been able to find these again that are manufactured this way. Most of the time the bobbins that we see and that we have have this kind of a center ridge or spindle here right in the middle and that's all that we've been able to get. So I was really excited to find the ones uh, that are made, they're being made. This is uh, a new one and it, there's been a lot of controversy about these because they don't have the right number of holes. It's the right size. I'm not worried about how many holes it has in it as long as it is the right size and I love the fact that it doesn't have that ridge because that can gouge out the center of your bobbin case. So it's a lot like the original uh, the original Singer bobbins were that fit in your featherweight. I've also found these recently uh, that are finished smooth like this with the, with the original number of holes in the bobbin. So again, I'm not too worried about the number of holes. I just want to make sure it's the right size and that it fits. Now look at this bobbin. This bobbin is not for a Singer featherweight or a Singer 301. This bobbin is for a 99. You can see that it's got a totally different shape. You see how the edges of the bobbin uh, sloped to, down toward the center of the, of the bobbin and it's got only four holes and it's just totally shaped different. It's also quite a bit taller uh, than the original, than the bobbins were for the Singer Featherweight. So this bobbin is not intended for your Featherweight at all. It'll cause you all kinds of problems if you try to put it in there. I wanted to show you this bobbin. This bobbin came to me in a bobbin case that was sent to me for service and this bobbin evidently has been stepped on. I don't know if, if the camera can really pick that up well or not, but it's just, that's a pretty good shot of it right there, it's just slightly lopsided. Uh, the center spindle is bent, it's crooked, so that these, the, the two discs that make up the outer edges of the bobbin aren't perfectly parallel to one another. It, it's off just a little bit. So when uh, she put the bobbin in her bobbin case, it got stuck and would not come out. So it took me quite a while to, to work it out without ruining the bobbin case for her, but I was able to do that. So if you drop a bobbin on the floor, look at it, inspect it. If it's got a dented edge, if it's got a damaged edge, or if you've stepped on it, discard it. It's not worth risk the risk of ruining your bobbin case. Uh, I wanted to show you this bobbin. It's not a great example. It's dirty, but it's not terribly rusted. I've looked all over the shop today. Usually when I see a rusted bobbin. I just I just throw it away immediately. So I've had kind of a hard time. This one's not terrible. It's got a little bit of rust on it. Uh, this one has a little bit of rust on it as well, right in the center. Um, so you can tell that there's there's some issues with those. If you have a rusted bobbin case, again friction inside your uh, if you've got a rusted bobbin, again friction inside your bobbin case is going to cause unnecessary wear on the inside of your bobbin case. Bobbin cases are expensive. The reproduction bobbin cases do not work well. You're going to need an original bobbin case. So if you've got a bobbin like this that has little bits of rust, I can feel that with my fingernail. That's very, very rough there where that rust is. You can possibly polish that off. No thread on it, of course, when you go to polish 
I would uh, recommend the Moss Polish. It does a very nice job of polishing metals like that. And you might be able to restore it and get it all nice and smooth. Otherwise, I would throw it away. It's not worth damaging your bobbin case. I hope this has been helpful. I do sell bobbins that work very nicely. Uh, if you need bobbins, and uh, we'd be more than happy to help you. You can find supplies for your Singer Featherweight at my online store at novamontgomery.com in the shop area. Happy stitching.